In this tutorial, uh, we will explore digital modulation and the measured units dialog, which you will find in the mobile receive menu. Now, so far, we've only used received power. Received power is the default value in Cloud RF and in most RF systems, and it is a very simplistic measurement. It doesn't consider bandwidth and it doesn't consider the noise floor. So in that respect, it's fairly optimistic and it's fairly ignorant of what else might be coming into play. For digital modulation, we really care about noise and bandwidth. And so for this demo, I prepared free templates with free different profiles for an S-band radio at 2.2 gigahertz. The first profile uses narrow bandwidth of 1.4 megahertz. And at this bandwidth, it set the noise floor down here as minus 112, based upon that channel's width. Now I've just created that calculation. I selected the template and then I click the green button and with signal to noise mode and a free dB threshold, this is the coverage we can expect here. I've deliberately picked some flat fields by the river uh, to show the extent of the coverage. All I'm going to do now is change the profile, which changes the bandwidth to 10 megahertz bandwidth. When I do this, the noise floor has now increased because channel noise has increased in line with the bandwidth. Our threshold has not changed. And now we have two layers, I can compare them. And I can see that straight away, probably over half that coverage has been lost because of an increase in bandwidth. Let's go up again, up to 20 megahertz bandwidth, and repeat that. Noise floor has increased, threshold remains the same, coverage has reduced. So signal to noise ratio is much more sensitive to other parameters such as bandwidth, the threshold, and the noise floor than received power. A more advanced form of this is bit error rate. Uh, bit error rate is more for engineers, and this uh, describes the waveform's window of function. So a waveform will operate above an expected signal-to-noise ratio. So let's go and pick a waveform here and say this is TV broadcasting, which uses 64 QAM. So it's quadrature amplitude modulation and that has a bit error rate. Now that bit error rate might be one in a thousand, it might be one in a million. It depends on what your appetite is for error. But if I was to model this with one in a thousand, I can expect some coverage like this. And if I raise my standards to one in a million, it will raise the SNR requirement. And we've now come right down and you can see that we're not going as far as we were with the lower bit error rate. Another type of measured units is RSRP. Uh, this can be considered to be very similar to SNR in function, only this one is measured in decibel milliwatts, so don't get this confused with received power, because this one really cares about bandwidth. You'll use this with things like LTE. Now LTE RSRP measurements go down to minus 120, so let's set that as the floor and let's run this calculation here and see what this looks like. So that's the value with 20 megahertz bandwidth. But let's say on my network, I like two megahertz bandwidth because it's punchier. We've lowered the noise floor. We've kept the threshold the same. And now we've achieved greater coverage than before just by lowering the bandwidth. So that is re reference signal received power and it's measured in dBm 